You got your ticket? Gun Show! Hey, Dave. Great day, Tribe. Welcome to Tub Motor Bootcamp Las Vegas' uh, digital workout. My name is Corey. I'm going to be your coach today. And for today, we're going to be doing a 45-minute hit style functional fitness workout that's going to focus on that upper body. Summer is coming. Sun's out, gun's out. So we got to get them locked and loaded and ready to go. For today's equipment, we're going to be utilizing a backpack uh, filled up with enough stuff to make it as heavy as you're comfortable with. We're going to be using two water gallon jugs. If you got dumbbells, use that also. We're going to be using two uh, five gallon buckets. Uh, if you've got those at home, that's fine. If not, you can use those uh, gallon jugs. But otherwise, we're going to be doing two full laps around the room, which means we're going to hit every station twice. We're going to spend two minutes at each station with a 30 second rest in between. And after the first lap, we're going to have a 90 second rest to catch our breath, uh, get recharged, get refocused, so that we can crush that next round with everything that we've got. Now, you know who I am. Let's get to know you. All right. Craig, on camera, we got Rachel. And at home, we got you. So loud and proud, I want you to yell your name now. Excellent. Now, like with all of our workouts, this is all about you and your progression. So if at any time when I'm yelling, go, 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 dig deep, but you need to slow it down, it's okay. All right? Listen to your body. Go your pace. If you can go faster, go faster. If you need to go slower, go a little bit slower. But focus on getting that burn in, pushing in that work, and growing. Now, go ahead. Pause this video. Grab your equipment. Let's get set. Let's get recharged. Turn on your favorite playlist, crank that music up, and we're gonna get started. Here we go. We're gonna start off with some jumping jacks. Ready? Again. Oh, yeah. Keep those arms nice and straight. Excellent, excellent. Let's we'll go ahead and turn towards the camera. Perfect. I know everyone wants to be looking at this. He's like, I can't keep my eyes off you, Corey. But it's okay. It's okay. There's gonna come a point where all that sweat's gonna get in his eye, and then we're really gonna go in. Here we go, five more seconds. Then we're gonna go right into those lateral drafts. So let's keep those feet shoulder width apart. Suck your belly in your spine nice and tight. We're gonna twist and punch. Twist and punch. This is not about speed, this is all about that movement. You wanna feel that nice twist in those abdominal, uh, abdominal snowman muscles in those abs. <laughs> Just like that, excellent. Oh yeah. Filling into those obliques right there in the front two. Excellent. Nine more seconds. Keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah. He's like, remember, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> awesome. We're going right into squat jumps. Feet shoulder width apart. Head up, chest up, down, and come up. Nice little easy. Remember, this is only the warm up. We're not trying to make the Olympics for exercise or anything. Nice, steady pace. We're just trying to get those muscles loose, get that blood flowing through the body, waking up that mind, and getting it ready to set so that we can go, go, go. Perfect. Breathe in on the way down, exhale on the way up. Greg's going a little bit faster. I want you to slow down just a little bit. You're at home as well. All right, we're gonna lay down on the ground. Here we go, bicycle crunches. Hands behind your ears. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Here we go. Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. Notice how he's keeping those feet about six inches off the ground. Full extension on those legs. Excellent. And Craig, go ahead and let's unlock those fingers. Just hold them right behind your ear. This way we're not pulling on our head and pulling on our neck. Excellent. Sucking that belly button in. A nice little twist and shout. Twist and shout. Why do I say twist? Because that's a part of the movement. Why don't I yell shout? Because we're doing burpees. That's right. Here we go. Chest to ground burpees. We're going to drop all the way down to the ground and then jump right back up. Excellent. Notice Craig doing all a great job. Oh, yeah. Hey, Craig's got these uh, monkey bars right above his head. So he's doing a great job of going right in between them. And I hope you all home have high ceilings. But if not, I want to make sure you're not leaving no fingerprints or handprints on the ceiling. Excellent. Five seconds, five seconds. All right, this is gonna be the last one. Now we're gonna go to inchworms with a push-up. So keep those legs nice and straight. Put your hands on the ground. Walk them out as far as you can into that high plank. Add one push-up. And now we're gonna walk our hands back to our feet and then walk it forward again. Perfect. All right, now on that push-up, if you're unable to keep that straight body from your shoulder to your ankle on the, on the movement, go down to your knees and do that push-up on your knee just like that. Excellent. And then bring those knees up and walk it back to your feet. All right, here we go. Round two. Right into those jumping jacks. 
Now in round two, we want to go a little bit faster than round one. A little bit faster than round one. So let's get that heart pumping. Let's get that blood flowing. It's a great day for a great day. So who's got this? I got this. We got this. That's right. Oh yeah, I can start to feel that adrenaline pumping through our bodies. It's going to be awesome today. We're going to get some work on. Yeah, excellent. All right, here we go, lateral jab, plant those feet, twist and punch, twist and punch. Keep that, keep your guard up, uh, fist by your eyes. Excellent, excellent, there we go. Remember, second that belly button in your spine, full rotation at your hips, full rotation at your hips. All right, and then press out. Ah, ah. If you're working out with a partner and they happen to be close enough to you, remember, no high fives, no high fives. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Here we go, squat jacks. Feet wider and shoulder width apart, head up, chest up, hands down to the ground or up and jump it. Remember, nice. We're going, even though we're going a little bit faster than round one, it's still only the warm up. So I wanted to make sure that you are not burning out on this, all right? We're not, we're not trying to go to 100 on anything right now, all right? We're gonna save that for the workout. So nice steady pace, but just a hair faster than round one. Oh yeah, big deep inhales, big deep inhales. Here we go, three seconds, right down to the ground. Here we go, bicycle crunches, bicycle crunches. Lay down, hands behind those ears. Here we go, feet up off the ground, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Excellent, excellent. I wish I knew the lyrics to that song, Twist and Shout. I really do, because I'd be singing for you right now. But, oh well, I guess we'll just have to deal with some Taylor Swift so we can shake it off, shake it off, up, up. Keep going, Craig, keep going, Craig. That's right, he liked my Taylor Swift uh, karaoke also. All right, guys, here we go, burpees, burpees. If you thought my singing was bad, let's turn it up a notch and let's go right into those burpees. Like, what's worse, how many do burpees during the warm up or listening to Corey singing? I don't know, I don't know. I think probably the worst thing would be, oh, oh, hanging tough. Yeah, that's a Backstreet Boy reference. For, is it a Backstreet Boy reference? I, who sings hanging tough? I don't know, there's some people out there. I'm suspecting that maybe uh, someone knows. I don't know, it's not me. All right guys, here we go, inchworms. Stand up, walk those hands out. Full push up, keep those hips nice and high. Excellent, leg straight on that walk back. Right back down, nice and easy. Remember, it's only the warm up, go your pace. Breathe in and exhale. On that push up, uh, maintain that perfect form if you have to, go on your knees. Excellent, breathe in on the way down, exhale on the way up, and walk those hands. Uh, when you go do that walk back after that push up, bring those knees up off the ground and walk it back. Keep that good stretch of those hamstrings and those glutes. All right guys, that's it for the warm up. Go ahead, grab that bottle of water, catch your breath. We're about to get this party started. Great job guys, excellent. Remember, lower that heart rate, let's get that nice recovery going. If you need to, pause the video, Grab your equipment and get reset. Here at station number one, we're gonna be using our backpack. So make sure uh, that you use appropriate amount of weight. We're gonna be doing a sandbag clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the, I got a handle on the top of my backpack and I tied the straps to, together nice and tight. Uh, so this way, I'm gonna make sure my feet are as wide as the bag or a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart. I'm gonna go into that low squat. Hips are nice and high, my back is flat. Chin is up, chest out. I'm gonna drive those hips forward, and then I'm gonna roll that bag on top of my chest. I'm gonna bring it back down, up, boom, just like that. Then we're gonna do that, followed by a press. So I'm gonna grab the bottom of the bag and the top, core is engaged, a nice wide stance with my feet, and now I'm gonna do is press it straight up and straight down. So I go from chest to full extension. So that's why it's very important for you to make sure that you have an appropriate amount of weight in your bag. So this way you're able to do it for the entire two minutes. All right, so go ahead, hit that pause button. Go ahead, do a couple practice reps. Make sure you have the appropriate amount of weight. And we're gonna get started. All right, let's go ahead and grab your stuff. Grab that bag. Excellent. Here we go, guys. Remember, all we're asking for is your very best. So let's dig deep, give it all you got. Go with me. Who's got this? I got this. Let's go. Hit it. Excellent. Perfect. Craig's doing a great job keeping on that head up, chest up. That back is nice and flat. Excellent. Pushing those hips back. Come out, getting that good roll. And just breathe. Nice, steady pace. 
You want to find a consistent pace that you're able to maintain. We're going to do this for one full minute. We're going to do this for one full minute. Make sure you're driving those hips forward, squeezing those glutes tight, engaging those abdominal muscles. So this way we're activating our core while we're also getting a little bit of that upper body. Oh yeah, we're working those biceps. All right, those shoulders. We're 30 seconds in with 30 seconds to go. Excellent, excellent. Remember, no one said it was gonna be easy, but I promise you, it's gonna be worth it. I know this guy, uh, Ticketmaster over here uh, for the gun show, he was talking a lot of smack. We'll see how he holds up for this workout. But I know it already works. He does a great job. Excellent, I'm super, I'm super pumped for this workout. And so is he. Here we go. All right, guys, go right into that press. And up. remember, nice, steady pace. Find something that you're able to maintain. Excellent, full extension. He's got those feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. All right, sucking that belly button in your spine, squeezing those glutes tight, and full extension. Now, as he goes up, I want you exhaling. And when you're bringing it down, I want you to inhale. We're gonna re oxygenate that body, get it nice and set. Excellent, there we go, there we go. Great job, great job. Breathe in on the way down, exhale on the way up. We're 30 seconds in with 30 seconds to go. Oh yeah, guys, this is not just a physical challenge. This is also gonna build you up mentally. I want you to focus on making sure that your mind is right, that you're focusing on believing in yourself and powering through. We're gonna overcome the adversity. We're gonna overcome that challenge and we are gonna to grow together. Awesome, keep going. We've got three more seconds. Let's get one more rep in, one more rep in. Full extension and rotate. Great job, great job. We're gonna leave that bag right here. We're gonna grab our water jugs, excellent. And coming over here to station number two. So here at station number two, we're gonna be doing tricep extensions. So you can either use one or two weights, it's completely up to you. Put my feet are about hip width apart, my core is engaged. Full extension above my head, and whoa, it's a little awkward. That's all right. Full extension behind, we're gonna bend those elbows and then come right up. That's a little too awkward for you, that's fine. Hold it right above your head, come down, and then up. Ready? And then we're gonna follow that up with a plank. So, grab the equipment and hit it, let's go. Excellent, keep those elbows in, point towards the front. Full extension up, we really wanna get those triceps activated. Breathe out, excellent, excellent. If you're doing this and the weight is a little bit awkward and it's throwing you off and your form is incorrect, I'd rather you go down to a lighter weight and move slower to really engage that muscle. You'd be surprised at what a little bit of weight and some nice slow reps are gonna do for that muscle fatigue. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, Craig was just like I was. He's like, man, this is just a little too hard. We've got that water sloshing around. We got uh, the handles kind of moving on us. Excellent. Full extension, keep it up, keep it up. All right, we've got 20 seconds to go, 20 seconds to go. Remember, squeeze your triceps nice and tight at the top, even hold it for there just for a second, really flex them out, and then bring them down. And when you're going all the way down, make sure not to just let it drop. Slow, steady control on the way down. Excellent, excellent. Here we go. All right, we're going into that high plank, high plank active recovery. So hands directly underneath those shoulders, body's nice and flat. We're gonna bring those hips up about two inches, up a little bit more, on the right side also. There we go, just like that. Suck your belly button in your spine, squeeze those glutes tight. Now, during this part, if you start to fatigue and you feel like you're gonna to drop to your knees, instead of doing that, I want you to stay up in the air and move your feet apart wider. The wider your feet are, the more stability you're going to have. But focus on keeping those hips high and flat, sucking that belly in your spine, and instead of thinking about your arms, I want you to think about your abdominal muscles, all right? I want you to think about getting that core really super engaged, all right? This is gonna to be tough, but remember, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be challenging. I want you to be your best self, give it everything you've got. Feel that burn, feel that burn, we're almost there. Five more seconds, five more seconds. Oh yeah, Craig's starting to sweat. Craig's starting to sweat already. And rotate, perfect, perfect. Craig, I'm gonna ask you to hold that for me, awesome buddy. Station number three, we're gonna grab our buckets. Uh oh, don't you love it? On that live TV, we need equipment kind of. There we go. Station number three, we're gonna do a farmer carry. Station number three, we're gonna do a farmer carry. So grab your buckets. All right, one in each hand. Make sure it's uh, challenging enough. All we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little. Uh, 
follow the leader, walk, all right? So if you're working out with your family, if you're working out with your pets, get them to follow you. We're gonna do one minute of that, followed by one minute of dumbbell curls. So, ready? Let's go ahead, grab that weight, Craig, and let's get it going. Perfect. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Hey, we're gonna hold this for an entire minute. We're gonna hold this for an entire minute. So make sure you're walking around your living room, go on a little journey around your house. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna be loud enough that way you can hear me if you're in the other room. So this way you know when to come back. We've got another 45 seconds, plenty of time. Just go on that little, uh, go on that little uh, roundabout or what's it called when they, in the outback in Australia, do you know? A walkabout, they call it a walkabout. A walkabout? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Crocodile Dundee walkabout. That is not the right accent, but it doesn't matter. Here we go. Just keep holding. On this one, we're going to be really working that grip strength, building up the muscles in our hands and our forearms as well. And oh, we're going to fill it in in shoulders too, aren't we? We've got 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Then what I'm going to have you do is grab your water jugs. Get ready. Five more seconds, five more seconds. Let's go ahead and set them down. Let's grab those, uh, whatever you're using. We're using uh, single gallon uh, water jugs here. We're gonna hold it up at that 90 degrees. Elbow tight on that rib cage, and we're just gonna hang out right here. You think this is Mike nice and easy? Now, we're gonna do this for one minute. We're gonna be focused on strong, serious muscle fatigue. Excellent. How heavy is this for you, Craig? Not very heavy. Not very heavy at all. That's all right. We got 38 seconds left. So we're just gonna be hanging out, holding this position for as long as we can. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Yeah, Excellent. Right. I don't know. I, I know we're in Las Vegas, but I feel some some tremors. Tremors. I wonder if they're having an earthquake in uh, California right now. I don't know. But I only feel it in my upper body, not in my lower body. <laughs> oh yeah. Guys, we got 20 seconds. Remember, have fun with your workout. It's supposed to be a good time. We're making an investment into our body and into our quality of life. All right, so yes, you wanna take it serious. Yes, you wanna push hard. Oh, I want you to overcome the obstacle and the challenge, but I want you to enjoy yourself and have a good time doing it. And let's rotate. Perfect, awesome job. Now we're gonna go over here, station number four. Here, we're not gonna need any weight at all, strictly body weight. So we're gonna be doing a runner's lunge. So right leg forward, left leg back, left hand on the ground, right hand in the air, and we're gonna come up and back, up and back. And I really want you to focus on that abdominal muscle, all right? We're gonna do this for thir for one minute, and then we're gonna do one minute of chest to ground burpees. Oh yeah, Craig, super excited. Ready, and let's go. Here we go, right leg forward, left leg back. Let's get it. Then our chest up, go. Uh, opposite arm comes up. Yeah, there we go. There we go, perfect, just like that. We're gonna do 30 seconds with the right leg forward and then 30 seconds with the left leg forward. Actually, just remember, it might be upper body day, but it doesn't matter if it's upper body, lower body, or core. It's still a full body workout. We practice functional fitness, so we're gonna have to be able to move better in here and out there in the real world. Here we go. Remember, round one is all about setting the tone. So make sure you're pushing yourself, challenging those limits, and raising that bar. High expectations, high standards for yourself, and we are gonna meet them every single time. Here we go. Switching that leg, perfect. We've got that left leg forward, right leg back. Awesome. Here we go. All right, I'll switch it up with him. Boom, just like that. Down, up. Keep that head up, chest up. Back nice and flat, excellent. Down and up, working a little bit in that lower body, working a little bit of that core. Oh, don't you worry. Burpee! That's right, mental challenge, physical strength. Chest to ground, jump right back up, up in the air. Awesome, he's reaching high to the sky. I know he missed the high fives from me. I know you missed my high fives at home, so I want you to high five yourself. I want you to clap your hands at the top. Clap your hands up at the top on that burpee. Drop to the ground, jump up and clap. Loud and proud, loud and proud. Excellent, we got 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Let's see how he's doing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're definitely getting that work in. Gosh, he looks super great. He's got that sweat glistening off that head. We've got 20 seconds. Are you sweating at home? Are you dripping on your floor? Make sure you get that clean it up, disinfectant when you're done. Awesome, perfect. Everyone's going, great job, dude, great job. Everyone's going. We got eight more seconds, eight more seconds. We're just about finished, we're just about finished. Here we go. 
Awesome, 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 awesome. And rotate. Awesome. Four, station number five. Station number five, all you're gonna need, we're gonna use our water jets, but if you've got those, those dumbbells at home, so we're gonna be doing alternating press. So I want you to hold them up in your shoulder, feet uh, about uh, hip width or a little bit wider apart, core engaged, and it's a full extension, right hand, and then left hand. Right hand, and then left hand. Then we're gonna go right down into those mountain climbers, high plank, bringing those knees in, back, and forth. All right, let's grab that weight. Let's grab that weight. Here we go, let's get started. Three, two, one, and hit it! Full extension, breathe. Remember, Suck that body into your spine. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Let's bring those elbows forward. Let's bring those elbows forward and full press up. Great job, great job. Remember reaching nice and high for the ceiling. Nice and high for the ceiling. I hope you wore some deodorant. Raise your hand if you're sure. For those of you that don't know, that was a tagline of a deodorant company named Sure. Did they saw Sure? I don't know, it was a woman. I think it was a woman's. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna keep pressing. There's a lot of things I say during this workout that don't matter. But what I do matter is that I want you to keep pushing, I want you to believe in yourself and keep going. All right, here we go, here we go. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. We got 20 more seconds, 20 more seconds. Are you feeling it right now? I want you to focus on that deep breathing. Focus on that deep breathing. Even though we're moving through that movement, I want you to re your body, all right? Use this as an opportunity for active recovery. Excellent, just keep pressing, nice and easy. Suck that belly in your spine. All right, here we go, mountain climbers, down to the ground. Remember, we're gonna be doing this for a full minute. Doing this for a full minute. So hands underneath those shoulders. We're gonna bring those knees in and out. We're gonna bring those knees in and out. We bring those knees in and out. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, get it going, get it going. Now, you're gonna fatigue out, all right? I promise you that. It's okay to drop down your knees, take a moment or two, catch your breath, but, Get disciplined and get right back in it. Power through, power through. You got this, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Craig's feeling it, Craig's feeling it. And if Craig's feeling it, I know that you're feeling it. Cause this guy comes in here and he crushes his workouts all the time, all the time. Oh yeah, super proud, disciplined, right back at it. Let's bring those knees all the way up. We got 10 more seconds, come on. Here we go, 10 more seconds, power through. It's not meant to be easy, but it is gonna make you better. Here we go, here we go, keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. Let's go to station number six. Here at station six, all we're gonna need, all we are gonna need are our, our water jugs. We're gonna do one minute of push-ups, all right? So, elbow point towards the feet, body nice and flat, slow, steady control, all right? We're not trying to set world record. If you need to be on your knees, it's okay. Keep that straight line from your shoulder to your knee. And then we're gonna do a uh, dumbbell high pull. Wide stance for those feet, strong foundation core is engaged. Flare those elbows out, pinch those shoulder blades together, raise them nice and high, down and up. All right, you ready, Craig? Let's go, hit to the ground, hit it. One minute, one minute of your very best. Push up, push up, push up. Excellent, let's keep those hips up a little bit higher. Keep that core engaged. Elbows point towards those feet. Breathe in on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Find that steady cadence that you're able to maintain the entire time, all right? One minute push ups is gonna be super challenging, but we're gonna rise that to that uh, expectation. That's right, we're gonna, no, we're not gonna rise to the expectation. We're gonna rise to the occasion. All right, here we go. Great job, great job. Excellent. Remember, if you start to fatigue out, go to your knees and just keep moving. So, when you're on your knees, I want you to make sure that you spread them apart slightly, all right? So we're gonna be about a hip width apart. Excellent, breathe in all the way down. Exhale the way up. We only have 20 more seconds. We only have 20 more seconds. I know you're feeling it in those biceps. I know you're feeling it in those triceps. I told you, it takes a lot of effort. We're gonna go into that gun show. Excellent, excellent. Five more seconds, come on. Rip, crank up that last rep, crank up that last rep. Let's go, on your feet, excellent. Grab those weights, we're gonna do a dumbbell high pull. Dumbbell high pull. So, move those feet nice uh, nice and wide apart. Excellent, let's get a wider stance, Craig. Hands straight down, up and flare those elbows. Squeezing that chest, pinching those shoulder blades together nice and tight. Oh yeah, excellent job, excellent. Make sure you're also engaging your core. Suck that belly button in your spine and breathe. Oh man, Craig has been wearing 
this awesome shirt. Doesn't he look great wearing it? All right, workout. This is an excellent workout shirt. Would you agree with me, Craig? I agree. You agree? Awesome, awesome. Looks like it's sweat wicking. It can take the elements. All right. Have you worn it at a 10-point race? I have. He has. Last year. It, it holds up to the conditions. He's like, I don't care about no barbed wire. I don't care about no mud. I don't care about no walls. Because with my Tough Mudder Boot Camp Las Vegas, obstacle racing shirt and workout shirt and boot camp shirt, I can make it through anything with my tribe. Excellent. That's it, guys. Go ahead. Sit down the weights. That's the end of round one. I want you to go ahead, grab a bottle of water, catch your breath, and recover. All right, we've got 90 seconds. We've got a full 90 seconds, which is plenty of time. Listen, lower that heart rate. Really shake out those arms. Oh, this one is a straight burner today. I know it. I know it's tough, but you know what I also know? That you're tougher. So believe in yourself, power through. We got the championship round coming up next. It's my favorite round. That's the round where we go show the world how amazing and incredible we are. Cause we're gonna dig deep. We're gonna overcome those obstacles and challenges. We're gonna rise to the occasion and power through. Awesome job, awesome, well done. So, hey Craig, why don't you come on over here? Come joining me. We got another 45 seconds of rest, 45 seconds of rest. Craig, how long have you been a member of Tough Mudder Bootcamp? Almost a year. Almost a year. And have you been a member at other gyms in the past? Yes. Yeah? And what do you like uh, about Tough Mudder Bootcamp compared to those other gyms? I like the teamwork. Teamwork. And the introduction and uh, how you guys help each other and show how the workout is supposed to be done. Oh, so he loves the coaching. He loves the camaraderie. He loves the teamwork. Fantastic, fantastic. And who's your favorite coach? You are. Of course! That's right. Craig is a wise, wise man. He's like, you know, happy wife, happy life, happy coach, easier workout. So, all right, guys, that's it. We're going to start round two, the championship round. Make sure you grab that backpack. We're going to go right into it. We're going to do that uh, uh, clean, uh, sandbag clean, feet wider than shoulder width apart. Let's get started. Here we go. Drive those hips and then roll it up on top of that chest. Head up, chest up, back is nice and flat. Drive those hips forward. It's round two, it's a championship round. I believe in you, Craig believes in you, we all believe in you. Who's got this? I got this. That's right, let's keep going, let's keep going. Excellent. Hey, in the video, all the comments below, let us know what equipment are you using? What little life hacks are you using for these workouts? If you don't have that same equipment that we do at home, what are you using to really get that burn and go? Excellent. If you are uh, using that backpack, what are you putting in it to keep it heavy or uh, to make it nice and challenging? Excellent. Put it in the comments below. We want to hear from you. Excellent. Here we go. Down and up. We got 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Remember, we're going to drive those hips forward. All that weight is in that heel. Push back, come up, and drive. Excellent. Excellent. Down and up. Down and up. All right. Here we go. Full press. Pull it in at that chest. Awesome, feet a little bit wider, feet a little bit wider. Core is engaged, second leg of your spine, and press up. Breathe in on the way down, exhale as we go up. Great job, guys. Keep going, keep going. Remember, we're doing this for one minute. We're doing it for an entire minute. So I want you to find a nice, steady cadence that you're able to maintain the entire time. Just keep going, all the way up and all the way down. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you go up. Great job, keep going, keep going. We're almost there, 30 seconds in, 30 seconds in. And I'm super, you know what? A lot of you don't realize at home because you're watching this on your, on your TV and you're doing your workout, is that when I'm standing here and they're doing that good heavy breathing like they're supposed to, is that I can smell that breath. Oh yeah, and I'm super awesome that we got an incredible tribe who knows how to brush their teeth. They know how to use that minty uh, fresh mouthwash. So this way when they come in here, they're like making it easier and nicer for me. So job well done. But you're home, let's go ahead. We're gonna rotate to station number two. You don't have to worry about that. You don't even have to brush your teeth because I can't smell you through the TV. But let's go ahead and grab that. Grab that water jug, grab that weight. We're gonna go right into those tricep extensions, right behind the head, pull down, all the way up, lock those elbows out, core is engaged, and then we're gonna go right into that plank. Oh yeah, did you see that look Craig just gave me? He's like, I'm super excited for this, Corey. Thank you for this opportunity to grow and learn. All right, here we go, one minute of your best. One minute of your best. Excellent, excellent, 
I know you're home, you're thinking like, one of these days, Corey, someone's gonna be doing a movement just like this, and the top of that bottle's gonna pop off, and it's gonna pour water all over them. Is it gonna be today? Is it gonna be tomorrow? I don't know, but you're just dying to wait for that. Wait for that to happen. And Craig's all excited. He's like, yeah, yeah. He goes, on me. He's, like, he's like, I wanna make sure I'm not squeezing it too tight. Pop that lid off. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's super exciting that when we switch from the uh, from the milk to the water because then we're like, oh my god, get that milk all poured all over you. It's like a magic mic video. Awesome. Craig's doing a great job. He just started listening to his body and needed a little bit of a rest. He shook it off and he got it right back up. Excellent job, excellent job. And you at home, that's what you need to do as well. Listen to your body. If you need to take that little moment, if you need to slow down, if you need to stop, it's all right. Take that little break, get right back into it. Here we go. We got four seconds, then we're going right back down to the ground. Three, two, one, put that down. We're going into a high plank hold, high plank hold. So, this is a great opportunity for you to catch your body. Keep that body nice and flat, hands directly underneath your shoulders, all right? Remember, if you feel like you need to drop your knees to the ground, instead of doing that, move your feet apart even wider and just hold it. But suck your belly button in your spine, squeeze your glutes nice and tight, all right? And focus on that burn on, in your stomach. This way, it takes the attention away from something else. Oh yeah, it's tough, it's tough. It's all right, it's all right. But even if those knees touch, we'll get them right back up and going. We're more than halfway through this. Remember, this is the final round. This is the championship round. This is the round where you grow the most, all right? So get uh, get your mind right. Make that decision to be better, all right? Get into it and, and just stay strong. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, he's looking strong, looking great. We've got seven seconds. Hold it up there the entire time. I want you to hold it up there the entire time. Five seconds to go. Five more seconds and rotate. Perfect. So we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab our buckets. We're gonna go on that run. We're not a run, we're gonna go on that little farmer carry. So what I want you to do, is we're gonna play a little bit of follow the leader. Grab your kids, grab your spouse, grab your pets, and just say, hey, follow me. And I want you to create a little, nice little route for your family to follow around this, okay? This way it takes your mind off of how much we're working that grip and arms. You ready, Craig? Let's go ahead and grab those, grab those buckets. I'm also gonna grab our, our water jugs bring them down, and we're walking it out. We walk it out. You know what, I'm gonna follow Craig. So here we go, even though these are little jugs, I'm just gonna follow Craig. Uh-oh, Craig's just walking in a circle. This is gonna make me super dizzy. Listen, anytime you get the coach to throw up during the workout, you know it's a tough one. Oh man, I'm not excited about this at all. I'm getting dizzy. I'm only on lap three and I'm already dizzy. Oh Lord, can we, can we go the other direction please? <laughs> He's like, payback, Corey, payback. Nobody likes it. It's not meant to be easy, Corey. It's supposed to be tough, but it's gonna be worth it when I'm throwing up, when you're throwing up on video and everyone else is laughing. Oh yeah. Actually, keep going, what happened to our timer? Oh no, oh no. Oh, we got 17 seconds. Oh, I gotta catch up, I gotta catch up. Da 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 going faster was a bad mistake. Oh, gross. I gotta go like this. I gotta go like this. I don't wanna throw up on camera. And neither does anyone do in the workout. Hey guys, go ahead and set those buckets down. Grab those, grab those water jugs. We're gonna do that curl hold. So I want you to hold 90 degrees, 90 degree bend, elbow tight on that rib cage. All right, let's move them out slightly. There we go, move them apart a little bit more. Right there, and hold, and hold. Oh yeah, just like that, just like that. Have you guys heard about Tough Mudder Bootcamp Happy Hour? It's every day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time where we log in, we all get together, we have a nice little Zoom call. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you'd like to join, go to our uh, Facebook group page, Tough Mudder Bootcamp Las Vegas. Make sure you join, uh, ask for the details. This way you can join in on that Zoom. We go over a lot of cool stuff. We do a little check-ins. Uh, if you're struggling with anything, that's a really great opportunity to uh, share it with the, with the tribe. So this way we can do whatever we can to help you at home. All right, plus you have play some fun games, do, do a little bit of singing, a little karaoke. All right, it's all about community and coming together. All right, guys, go ahead and set those weights down. Great job, great job. Excellent. Station number four. Guess what, guys? We're halfway through the final round. We're halfway through the final round. Here at station number four, we're going to do those 30 seconds of those runner lunges. All right, 30 seconds right side, then 30 seconds of that left side. Excellent. Keep that forward knee behind that toe. 
Drive that knee up in there, work those obliques, and then we're gonna do one minute of burpees. So, since Mr. Walk You In The Circle Make Corey Dizzy did that uh, last round, I'm gonna make sure I give him that good old payback on those burpees. Here we go, and let's hit it. Runner's lunge, hit it. Excellent. Perfect, just like that, just like that. Head up, chest up, back's nice and flat. That forward knee stays behind that toe. Squeeze your glute tight on the way up. Suck that belly button into your spine. Just keep going, just keep breathing. Fantastic, fantastic. We got 15 seconds and then we're gonna switch legs. Keep going, 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Oh yeah, lifting nice and high, lifting nice and high. Three more seconds, three more seconds. All right, right leg forward, left leg back, right leg forward, left leg back, and switch. Bring it up nice and high. Now, for those of you who want a little bit of extra credit on this, you want to raise the bar a little bit, I'll have you add that hop. Go down, up, add that little hop. Whoop! Just like that. Excellent. Let me make sure I get both sides. This way I've got great symmetry as well. That's right. It's not symmetry bush, it's symmetry. Get it up nice and high, growing to the sky. Awesome. Guys, sometimes I have good jokes, sometimes I have bad jokes, but either way, it doesn't matter. We're gonna land that plane. All right, guys, and rotate. Excellent job, excellent job. So for station number five, we only have two more stations left. Oh, no, we're doing burpees. We're doing burpees. Oh my gosh, how could I ever forget about burpees? I had one job, I had one job. Good thing I got Mr. Accountability Buddy over here doing what he's supposed to be doing. Oh yeah, excellent. Hey, no Macarena for me tonight. We're just going straight down, chest to the ground, and jumping right back up. Perfect, perfect. Oh man, oh man, you almost got away with it. You almost got away with it. Good thing Rachel on camera is like, Corey, you forgot the burpees. I'm like, oh, you're right, you're right. So everyone say, thank you, Rachel. These burpees are for you, Rachel. Excellent, excellent. Keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, we got seven seconds. Finish strong, finish strong. Give me one more rep. Give me one more rep. Three seconds, two, one. Who's got this? this. We got this. Oh, awesome. Now, now it's time for station number five. Guys, we got two final stations left. That's four minutes worth of work. All right, so get excited. Here at station number five, we are gonna be doing kettlebell alternating press. So make sure, grab them right here. All right, elbows up high, pointing to the front and then straight up and down. Then we're going in those mountain climbers. All right, Craig, grab those weights. Here we go. And hit it. One minute of your very best. One minute of your very best. Let's move those feet apart a little bit wider. Engage that core and full extension up nice and high. All nice tight grip, all nice tight grip. He's looking great. You're looking great. Excellent. Hey, Craig, guys, do me a favor. Keep doing that, but I don't want you to turn around. Go ahead, keep, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. There we go, come face me, come face me. Excellent, and straight up and down, straight up and down. And I want you to come here and take a look at this. He's got excellent form, all right? But these awesome cool shirts. Hey, if you got any questions, go to our Facebook page, put it on there, or put it in the video. If you got questions about how awesome our tribe and community is, how awesome these workouts are, how you can get more involved with us, just go ahead and reach out, ask me. I can answer those questions for you. Oh yeah. Excellent job, excellent job. We've got 10 more seconds. We've got 10 more seconds and then we're gonna be done. We're gonna have one more session to go after this. Power through, power through. Oh yeah, buddy, you're looking great, looking strong. Remember, exhale on the way up, breathe in on the way down. All right, here we go. Final station, final station. Here we go, station number six. Guys, this is the last time. This is it. We're gonna do one minute of, oh, oh man. Mountain climbers, we forgot the mountain climbers. Go, we're doing mountain climbers. Oh my gosh, that's two in a row. That's two in a row. Here we go. Never mind, guys. We're in mountain climbers. We're going mountain climbers. Hey, accountability buddy, this time was cred. That's right. Here we go. Keep those mountain climbers going. Bringing those knees all the way up, really squeezing those abdominal muscles. Man, I'm super proud of this tribe. Listen, we all make mistakes. It's okay. It's all right. What matters is that we overcome those, uh, those uh, challenges and just keep on moving. Perfect, perfect. Excellent. Hey, hey, for all our tribe members, feel free to call me out on our Facebook page. All right, we're just gonna keep going. Five more seconds, power through, power through. Finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. And now we rotate, now we rotate. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
Thank God there's only one more station left. We got two minutes of work and then we are done. Cause clearly, clearly this guy needs a break too. So for the last station, we're gonna do one minute of push-ups and then one minute of those dead uh, dumbbell high pulls. So we all know how the push-up works. On those high pulls, make sure those feet are wider than shoulder width apart. All right, hands in the middle and flare those elbows out to your core engage. Squeeze those shoulder blades nice and tight. All right, Craig, here we go. One minute, one minute, one minute. Push up, push, 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 push. Excellent, excellent. So what Craig is doing an incredible job um, is pacing. Notice that he's not just going straight down, straight up right away and burning it out. He's taking that little breather in between. He's finding a pace that he's gonna be able to maintain for that entire minute. But he's listening to his body. He's getting that little quick little rest in and going uh, right back into it. Now, he's doing a great job. He uh, transitioned to his knees. You at home, I want you to do the same thing. Instead of, instead of doing push-ups like this, where you're like a cobra stretch, you're not supposed to be there. Stay flat if you're struggling on that. Keep those knees, keep them wide. Come down and up, come down and up. I know it's tough, I know it's tough, but it's gonna be worth it. Your arms should be on fire right now. Don't worry, I'm gonna call 911 soon as the workout's over. Oh, so we can put that fire out with that pulse recovery shake from one side nutrition. There we go, keep going. All right, up on our feet, up on our feet. Grab those dumbbells, we got one minute of work, one minute of work, we're done. That finish line is one minute away. Let's get those reps in. So let's move those feet apart a little bit wider. All right, core is engaged. High pull, flare those elbows out. Pinch that shoulder blade, suck your belly in your spine. Squeeze and breathe, squeeze and breathe. Let's matter of fact, let's make that a hashtag. Squeeze and breathe, there we go, perfect. You just became a hashtag, I just became a meme. I don't know, maybe, 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 maybe so. There we go. Excellent, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah. Look at that big old smile. He's loving this workout. He loves he loves this attention. And I hope you love these videos at home. We've got another 23 seconds. We got Michael Jordan time. Michael Jordan time. 23 seconds and we are done. This is where champions are built and champions are made. When you're tired, when you want to quit, finish strong. How you do this right now is how you live your life. So power through, believe in yourself, and give it everything you've got. We've got seven more seconds. Finish strong. Finish strong. Believe in yourself like I believe in you. And we are done for real did i forget anything ah uh, no great job dude i'm proud of you whoa no high fives no high fives but the love is still there the love is still there you did a great job you did a great job listen that's a high intensity muscle burn we are building a strong foundation of our body really building up that strength man tougher than you thought it was gonna be huh yeah a lot oh, tougher a lot tougher a lot tougher i know you're home you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh but well, it's like my ex-girlfriend wrote the song, let's just shake it off right now. Lower that heart rate. Hashtag Taylor Swift reference. Hashtag every time. Here we go. High intensity burn. Now, it's all about that recovery and that rest. So we're gonna focus on that low intense rest. Be wide, hands in the middle, ready. Let's breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Last time, breathe in. And out. All right, so now we're going to, let's bring those feet a little bit closer. Take your right arm high into the sky, and we're going to drop it in between our shoulder blades. Grab that elbow and pull it deep into your, into your back. And with your elbow, with your left hand, I want you to pull it in. But with your elbow, I want you to push it up. So resist yourself. Feel that good counter stretch. Feel that good counter stretch. Remember, keep that core engaged. But most importantly, let's just breathe. And let's switch. Left arm in between our shoulder blades. Pull it down. Elbow push it out. Excellent. Excellent. That's what a cool down is all about. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent today. You guys working hard. Thank you for sharing your day with us. Thank you for uh, going to our YouTube page and pushing play, getting that work done. Here we go, let's shake it off. A couple, shake out. All right, we're gonna bring our right arm across our body. Right arm across our body. With our left hand, we're gonna pull it in. With our right hand, we're gonna push it out. I want you to resist yourself. Excellent, excellent. Craig, what was your favorite uh, movement in the workout today? The warm up. The warm up was his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. Now let's switch arms. Here we go. Oh yeah, pull it in nice and deep. 
Remember, left hand push out, right hand pull it in. Resist yourself. Excellent, excellent. Just like that. And let's shake it out, shake it out. Here we go. Let's just do some hip circles. Let's just do some hip circles. Nice big circles to the right. Nice big circles to the right. Yeah. Just like Craig's favorite band, we're only going one direction. All right. But we just can't listen to that song on repeat, so let's mix it up. Now let's go to the left. There we go. Nice big circles. Focus on that breathing. Man, thank you for spending your day with us, whether it be morning, noon, or night. Excellent. Here we go. Couple back clappers. Congratulate yourself on a job well done today. Say, way to go, Sal. Way to go, Sal. Look to your neighbor. Look to your partner. Look to that screen. Let's give a big round of applause. Say, great job, everybody. We're super proud of you. Hey, uh, once again, Thank you for participating with us. Thank you for taking this workout. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tough Mudder Bootcamp Las Vegas. Hit that notification uh, bell in the corner. This way you're alerted every single time we post uh, these incredible workouts or challenges. Uh, make sure that uh, you're uh, uh, taking that post-workout selfie and sending it to us. We want to see your faces. We miss you guys so much, all right? It really warms our heart when we see that we are bringing you some value uh, so when you post that post-workout selfie, it uh, gives us an opportunity to stay connected with you. Feel free to share this video, send it to your friends, your family, neighbors, coworkers. We want everyone to have an opportunity to stay fit and healthy during these times. We're here for you guys, and thank you for being there for us. All right. It's another incredible day. It's another uh, incredible workout with the tribe. We're always here for you. Thank you for being here for us. And just remember, we're always tougher together. Great job. Well done. What?